Hey guys, 64 Studios 101. Two Fin 12 here. With a rather horrifying episode, the gross out episode. Yeah, it's an episode of Chef Plowman, in case you haven't figured out. <laughs> uh, yeah. Read the title, you fool. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, this one is. I, I It turned out being one of my favorite. This yeah. is quite an interesting. Yeah, <laughs> like one. with most episodes, it's the, ones we wrote, it's the one we wrote together, and it turned out being a good yeah. one. Like with most episodes we write together, it's a good one. <laughs> let's get into it. Let's, let's jump right into it. Yeah. <laughs> So, this has quite an interesting backstory. I don't even know how to begin to explain Okay, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, we can't climb both. Like, we have this jo this joke series we do just to be funny. It's like a parody of the, all these bad... Car we, we don't actually do a series, but we, like, sort of ma we made a joke list of episodes of this really bad series full of gross-out tube or, like, really uninspired jokes and, like, lazy scripts and stuff. And one of them was the gross-out episode, which is uh, basically a whole episode that revolves around... How gross everything is! So, like a great title card. So we just like can't. Yeah. So then it, my brother, yeah, I love it. But my brother decided, like, I don't think this is intentional, but it almost is like a night of living dead esque. But anyway, my brother, my brother decided, like a. Uh, oh my, my! Wait, wait, oh, wait! First off, I'm just gonna say I love this. I, I really like this animation. It, I think I yeah, wrote I, this. Yes, it's a really well done. Yeah, it's a really well done commercial. And then, <laughs> but I added in how apocalyptic and everything yeah, is. Everything is. Yeah, but basically, basically just, and then of course it all turns out to be d d d Diet Dr. Cola, <laughs> <laughs> it's a commercial. <laughs> it's the same Diet Dr. Cola guy from the past couple of commercials. Yeah, and it's like that Pepsi commercial, you know, where they yeah, where drink Pepsi and that song's all over. Yeah. Someone, someone yeah. famous yeah. person who didn't do anything ever. Exactly. I feel like these commentaries are becoming just me saying I hate famous people who don't do anything. Yeah. <laughs> But that was, but, you know, it, yeah, you probably heard about it. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, what I was gonna, say, what I was gonna, gonna say was like my brother basically just decided to do what if we do an episode of Chef Clown called the Gross Out episode or something. Yeah. And we, it's like, and this is reused animation from the Clown Worshippers. Looks great then, looks great now. <laughs> anyway, so I mean, Mr. Town comes in. Uh, yeah, I kind of knew that Clown Man would have to be the one doing something gross, and it wouldn't actually. Yeah, it wouldn't be actually gross. be gross. Because we detest grow it out humor. Exactly. Here. I mean, I think it can occasionally be funny in moderation, but no show does it in yeah. moderation. <laughs> if it, that's the thing. <laughs> the most thing we've done is probably like that not so nifty new neighbor scene where Clown and gets all dirty. Yeah, I never found that doesn't grow. Yeah, to me, the joke would basically just tell Clown with some sloppy that, eater. That was like, the intention. I think yeah. I mentioned it at the time in that commentary, too. Yeah. And then, of course, it's like clean the. The they get Johnny and... Johnson to help, of course. Yeah. <laughs> That's sort of a way of bringing him into yeah. the story. Yeah, Man just does that because he's yeah. Clown Man. Mm -hmm. Then he starts doing his trick. He's done it in a few episodes before, and I think a few later ones, yeah. maybe he might just end up doing it but as well. Ever, and it's, for whatever reason, is horrified. <laughs> yeah, I think Johnson literally has to cover his eyes. <laughs> because he sticks his tongue out. Oh, yeah, and this introduces because the mayor's coming in. Yeah, Mayor Mike. Mike Michael's another as the one we recorded. Yeah. As the one we recorded this, he hasn't made another appearance yet, but he definitely will. Yeah, he. By the time you watch this, he might have made another appearance or more. Oh, and oh, and Jack Jackson too. He yes. was he was like a meet and greet character. He had a different design back then, but he was the same. Yeah, and, uh, and Chef he Meet versus Chef Clown Man is what he's named. That's yeah, but he's in the, but he's a, like I hear his voice in a lot of episodes of Chef Meet and Greet. Yeah, he's like the reporter always says, and something is going on. Yeah, but here he has a bit more. He's a bit more. Yeah, he has some lines on his face. And he here's a bit more. And he has a suit, which I which I really like. <laughs> so I decided to bring him back because why not? There's yeah. Mayor McMichael's. I like his design quite a lot. Me too. He just looks like very he's old wise type. Like, yeah. like his old look. Like he's probably one of the one of the less silly characters in Jeff Clown. I mean, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I guess he's a bit irrational at times, as seen in this episode. Yeah. But, like, yeah, but like, he really seems to have good intentions. Like. Yeah. <laughs> oh, whoops. It's a bit, uh... This episode is one of the ones that has more of a meaning to it as we'll yeah. get into. <laughs> mm -hmm. As we've said, those end up being the best of that. Often, yeah. Like, yeah. it's like, as we've said, like, we know we've already said this, like, multiple times, but, like, it would be bad if every episode was like that, but... So, not also, notice, notice how the microphone Jack Jackson's holling says 64. We love putting our little 64s There's in there. a lot of those throughout the show. If yeah. you look for them, you'll find that. Mm -hmm. You'll find most of them, even if you yeah. don't look for them. I love that. Yeah. Where you see the you see move as you want. This is, I think, kind of inspired on the opening scene by, not on, yeah. by the opening scene of the chef clown. Yeah. Or not, or uh, the SpongeBob yeah. Square. Yeah, I love how he's treating this as his top headline. That God, that Mary Michaels is eating at beef. I mean, no, I mean, he's eating yeah. out, of, out of the town cafe. But anyway, uh, in the SpongeBob Square's movie, SpongeBob at the beginning, it turns out to be a dream, but he comes up and yeah. he goes inside and he like 
save this customer from a Krabby Patty yeah. who doesn't have cheese mm-hmm. and it's ev- everyone's eyes are, yeah. and all the reporters mm-hmm. are okay. on Spongebob. So now, so, right, yeah, so now he's doing this role. And he, I mean, the mayor has to cover his eyes yeah. too. Everyone's like... Yeah. This is absolutely really pointing out the absurd that he have stuff like racism and homophobia and other irrational fears. Right. <laughs> it, 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 it comes more obvious later in yeah. the episode, I think. Oh, more on that sad. later. Originally, this was just at some random place. Yeah, but, but I thought it would be cool if it's in the town. Guy. The only reason for that, I I added in the part about clown men going yeah. by, which I figured would only make sense if it was out of the town. Guy. Okay, then, okay, there's Mr. Worksworth. I'm quite proud of this music that plays. It's a mix of the title card music and the Chef Clown and Horror theme music that has appeared a couple mm-hmm. times, but first back in Johnson's Yeah, and so probably someone's going to ban this episode because Dr. Daddy mentions evolution, and <laughs> it's fine. Wow, anti, anti uh, creationist. <laughs> anyway, anyway, yeah. So, so then I, I like it. Even the rats are like disgusted yeah. by it. <laughs> That's the idea, at least. Like, mm-hmm. And then Doctor Cola is in another. He's back. Yeah, after an factory. And I love it. He's just counting money. It would probably be smarter for <laughs> to count about the inside his factory. But I guess inside he's inside the I gate. Guess, yeah. <laughs> but as you've seen last episode, it's kind of just randomly opening. Yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, of course, he's horrified yeah. like everyone else. Yeah, and he like him has. Uh, I'm like, no, what did I ever do to deserve this? <laughs> He's a horrible person. Yeah, what did he? What did he ever do to deserve and that? Then then, yeah, he has to run up, but then he needs to get his money, and yeah. then he goes and runs off again. And then, and then even Oscar, who's usually the, the, the straight man, the one who doesn't really re- react to stuff, he's like, no! Yeah. Everyone's just, ah, here's cool his cool fingers again. Yeah. At his house again. This was in the uh, way, the of, way the of the clown. clown yeah. This background. Cool fingers is like, that ain't Googler man or whatever. Yeah, that ain't Wait, radical. No, no, that ain't radical. radical. But, yeah, that ain't radical. I, don't, I can't think of his voice right now. But, you know, <laughs> yeah, some nice old. I, and then so, suddenly everything looks all apocalyptic. <laughs> yeah. Just because you know he sticks his tongue out. My. Notice how the guy on the far left hand side, like his shirt changes his color, like when he runs back on yeah. it. I hate to keep mentioning it, SpongeBob. But this is another Spongebob thing. There's sometimes mobs, and I think in the second Spongebob movie, they sort of start an apocalypse by accident. Yeah. But yeah. I love how they all suddenly get all these weapons. <laughs> I really I love, I love the animation, too. I know it's a lot. great little references, like Dr. Cole has gold on his scissors. Yeah, exactly. That's really the only one, but you know. <laughs> Didn't think that through. Okay. Nice chase scene. Of yeah. Over some simple but... Great background. Yeah, they're all That's a great apocalyptic. Apocalyptic. I can't talk. Apocalyptic. I can't talk. I'm sorry. Okay. First appearance of Johnson's car. It will appear again. Yeah. It hasn't by this point <laughs> when we're uploading. I, I should have done a darker shade of blue for this guy. It's kind of hard to tell. No. And also, like this, for some reason, in the upload, it comes off as really blurry. I so I really like this animation. I Me too. It looks quite yeah, cool. it's really cool. I get kind of. The car, like, it doesn't look totally right from the front, but it still is a nice yeah. perspective. You certainly see it. You certainly get that it's moving. Exactly. I think Thalman sort of scares these guys off by... Yeah, I like that Turing animation. Yeah. Okay, so you see, I, I, I brag about my animation way too much, you know? <laughs> I bet all animators do. Yeah. <laughs> so, here, it's a little driving reference. Yeah. This blinker. Mm-hmm, and then he go rushes, and don't try that at home, kids. <laughs> rushes into the garage. All right, so this is another fun scene where he's talking about you shouldn't be doing that. Yeah. Some things are too gross to be seen, which yeah. would be really wrong in the Yeah, in out of context, context it's, it be, it's not, it sounds like a really, the line sounds really wrong. Okay, I love that animation, too. I need to stop saying that, but, you know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Reminds me, nice yeah. bit of cartoonish. Yeah, and and stuff. this is also, uh, what he's about to do, it's a bit of a parody of the really emotional scene in shows and and movies and stuff where, like, someone has to sacrifice him or herself. Yeah. So, he's like, no! He's conscious, like, no, clown me, and the clown's like, I've got to get myself up Yeah, I love their sign. Yeah. What they say, gross, they say, gross, stop doing that thing. A sad face, and then clown and cross out. I love, also, uh, I think... A nice, I, call, yeah. a nice callback to earlier in the episode. Keep in mind, like, remember, they said that, 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 we're, that we're the world where all the problems are solved with Diet Nicola, so when actually Clemens thinks he can do the same <laughs> thing, that he a, shocked the commercial there's, light of him. There's a great sort of the yeah. pies and everyone's like, no, boo. Yeah. Stop. Yeah. Okay, and here's the part where the metaphor for, you know, prejudice and you know, ignorance and stuff becomes a bit more obvious when Jonathan's all the stuff like, okay, you don't understand it, but it's not your business. 
Yeah. <laughs> like, it's one thing that baffles me is how people can be so offended when it doesn't actually really affect them. Right, like, it's bad enough to, you know, to, like, dislike people just because they're different from you, but, like, actually feeling the need to, like, take all this effort to stop it, like, what's wrong with that? Yeah. I mean, what's wrong with them and with those, no, like, if you're, if you're one of those people, think and start acting better, because I'm not gonna just gonna say sorry to offend you because you deserve to be offended. <laughs> anyway, oh, a nice bit of, this is a nice bit, like, Ram decided is a, a nice bit, a nice crowd yeah, <laughs> scene, and uh, 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 even uh, uh, Dr. Daddy mentioned that he always carries his test tube around and is literally never seen carrying yeah. it at any other point, but, you know. Meet Rangers Watch. It's... It's a nice sort of everyone has their little quirks. Exactly. See, that, it's a nice little message. Which is absolutely true. You cannot convince me that you don't, because everyone. Yeah, does. everyone does. Even no matter how much they try to hide it. And, even, and like you can't. Under, yeah, and you can't. And like no one's ever going to understand every aspect of everyone. But like it's, it's our role as human beings to, to like accept. Like if you're not harming anyone, you just accept that not everyone is just like this is me. Very philosophical. Yeah. <laughs> I, agree, though. I totally agree, though. Yeah, and it's sort of the message of this. Yeah. And then also, and also, and of course, but, and then Mr. And of course, like the mayor, he's told, he's immediately, his mind is immediately changed. It just it takes a few words of him to convince the crowd. Hey, you're right. Like any other speech about like doing what's best for the town, which I feel yeah. like I wrote to be sort of like, how, like a like an Obama type speech. You know, <laughs> he's a, we like him or hate him, he's good at speeches. Yeah. So it'll be, I miss him. Yeah. So don't do want I. To, don't want to get too political. Yeah. You don't but, have to. You, I understand if you don't. Really yeah. Straight. Uh. That's not good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, idiot. <laughs> idiot. Uh, so, lots of great stuff. Yeah. And if you notice, like, the, like I, I tinted this to make it a bit darker so that it, because the sky's getting yeah. darker. And then Jack Jackson comes in right again, once again. I really do enjoy this episode. Uh, Me too. <laughs> <laughs> and so then they all learn a lesson about treating it better. And I also like how he's all. I also like the way he could John Mayor McMichael. Mayor, McMichael, Mayor McMichael's is just like we. I already. I already said. Yeah. He's like indeed. Well, blah blah. blah. I, mean, I do like how they, everyone does sort of seem at least. Yeah, there's something really. At, in some ways, a lot of people seem to kind of learn their lesson. Yeah, exactly. There's something really satisfying about this resolution. Yeah. I don't know why it was you one. wrote. You. I can't take credit for this. You wrote basically all of this, and it's the, the resolution. You mean? I yeah. think it's some of the best writing you've done for the. Yeah, I think you. I agree, and then I love how Doctor Cole just yeah. pops up. It's like it sounds like more mix. understanding, more respectful, more. Get your writing. Yeah. yeah. Great mix of comedy and. And like nice lesson. Yeah. And the reason I zoomed in, there's background is zoomed in is the I imagine they're still watching at night and like this whole background has a has this wind daytime yeah. has a window showing the day not the daytime sky. This so is when I think uh, Jack Jackson mentions an episode of grossness. Yeah, <laughs> which gives the title of this episode yeah. a double meaning. <laughs> anyway, not, anyway. not to be confused with Jake Jackson. Yeah. <laughs> so then, and then there's one of those episodes that ends with like, here we go again. Where Jack. Yeah. So then Clawman does this thing with his eyes, and Jonathan's like, ew, that's disgusting. So uh, maybe not everyone quite learned their lesson of everything. Yeah, but I like to think that a lot. Yeah. Did. It's. Looking back, I'm not sure if that was the, as great an ending as I thought at the time, but I still like it. Yeah, I still really like the ending. Yeah. I mean, I wrote it so I have a bit of a soft spot for the ending. I know, I, we both kind of had that idea, though. Yeah. Like, beforehand, I we agree. both knew it would end. Oh, yeah, that. yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Another fun episode. Exactly, it's a, a fun episode that has some heart. Yeah, meaning. it's a really good one. It's, I don't think it's like my number one favorite episode or anything, but it's definitely on that list. I, I mean, it's great to do with Chef Plowman, but I think when we can sort of say something to the viewer, sometimes that that sort of thing is at least important to me. That exactly, I agree. Be better. I mean, it gives the show just a bit more value than just like a silly little cartoon. Like not that, not that there's no merit for us that for in a silly little cartoon, and there are plenty of episodes to fulfill that function. But it's nice to put it, make it a bit more sometimes. Yeah. Uh, so that's about it. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Goodbye.